Hi there, my name is Vadim Mikhalenka from howtoanalyzedata.net. In this section, we're going to look at the Visio's user interface. Visio 2013 has the ribbon uh, user interface from Microsoft, which consists from multiple tabs, which we can navigate from and to. And uh, we start in the Home tab. We can also go to Insert tab, Design tab, Data, process, review, and view tabs. Most of your time users will be spending in the home tab. This is where most of the commonly used functions are. And uh, within this tab, you can have multiple buttons that are available based on what you can do at the moment. Um, and uh, you can also see some uh, more detailed information uh, for every section. So, for example, I just clicked on this small arrow and I see information about fonts, uh, which have multiple sub-tabs within that dialog box. User can also see on the left uh, the shapes. Uh, and this is the section where you can select and pick many of the different shapes that are available. And then once they're picked, you can drag them onto the screen and then connect them using the connector tool, which is also on the main tab. So once connector tool is selected, you can drag and drop connectors and connect shapes as required. You can also select the pointer tool and delete the shapes. You just need to select the shape and click the delete button. So that's the shapes section. Here in the shapes section, you can also close it so this expands the size of the screen and you can do more things uh, or you can click and keep it open when you need to drag new shapes or maybe change between the uh, different shapes that are available different choices in the shapes section uh, are available based on what you select when new visio file is created so for example when you click file new we see a lot of different choices i chose basic diagrams and this is what drove the shape choices that you see on my screen but there are also flow chart organizational chart detailed network diagram and others and based on the selection that you make uh, you see different stencils that will be available to you i'm going to go back uh, to the diagram. You can also zoom in and zoom out. Uh, at the bottom right corner of the screen, um, there are zoom in section. And for example, if we drag something here, we can change the size of the object. Um, and we can zoom in or we can zoom out. I actually selected the full screen view. Um, that's another button, the presentation mode, but zoom out would be this button and zoom in would be the plus button and then you can use the uh, navigation uh, to move the screen back and forth up and down or horizontally left to right user can have also multiple pages um, on the screen this is page one which is created by default additional page could be added and each page can have a different content. For example, I just added page two, which could be renamed and named something more meaningful. Uh, and it would be a unique page, uh, which will have unique content. If you're familiar with uh, Microsoft Excel, this is very similar to Microsoft Excel. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this information valuable and enjoyed the video. Please make sure to check out my other videos on the subject and please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if you want to learn more about uh, Visio tips and techniques, you can do it on my website at www.howtoanalyzedata.net slash Visio. Uh, you can also check out the Visio training I recommend by going to www.howtoanalyzedata.net slash Visio training and make sure to sign up for my email list. I'll keep you posted on the tips, tricks and techniques and other promotions available. You can do it at www.howtoanalyzedata.net slash email. See you next time.